Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more interesting topic, Redis. Redis is a key value, key value pair data structure and this can be used as a database and cache and if you want to store your sessions using a Redis, we can use that also. So I am going to create a three videos on that, like one, how to use Redis as a database, then how to use Redis as a cache and third one is like how to use Redis to store our session. So in this video, I am going to create a, a Redis instance using a Docker image and I am going to create a microservice, microservice using a Spring Boot which will be where I will be showing you a CRUD operation on our Redis. So let's start with our first step like setting the Redis on a local and then we will start writing our microservice. So in this part, we are going to install a Redis on our local. So I'm not going like currently I'm using a Mac operating system. So for that, I'm you can download the Redis and create the Redis client on your local. But I, I don't want to that. I am going to, I have installed a Docker on my system. If you see, I have Docker installed on my system, local system. And why Docker? Because like if you no need to, create a dependencies for the like Redis, it will automatically download the image and that download image can create a container and in that container you will be having your Redis instance that you can access from the outside. So you can use this command currently like uh, so first of all you have to like before using this command you have to install a docker you can go uh, you can download that from the net and you can install post that you have to run this command. So in this command, I am creating running a Docker and this is Redis stack server and I'm running that on 6379 and this is my host name. Okay. So this is my image name. Sorry. So I'm pulling the latest image. So I have already pulled that and it's here in my Docker. It's here in my Docker representative. So if I start this Docker, it will take few seconds and it will be starting okay okay so it is started and it is ready to accept the connection so let's check that it is just started or not for that you have to connect to the redis using a cli and checking the so let me connect to the let me connect to the redis so this is my command to connect to the local host where locally I have locally I have installed the Redis which is running on 6379. Okay. If you hit it is telling that you have connected to the local host. Now as I told data structure the Redis is a key value pair data structure. Okay. So you have to change check the how many keys are there already present. Okay. So for that you have to write the command key star. So currently I have created for my demo, these are the two keys I have already installed. You can use a flush all to remove those things. Okay. If you write, if you click and print the star, empty array. That means you have not added any key. So how, how you will add, if you want to add, you can use a set, then your key name, it's, it's showing, okay, what you have to do and what you have to pass. So set. Let's say I am using a host and value I am using local. Okay. If you hit this key has been created. If you can, if you run the key stack, you will able to see host is there. Okay. Now I want to read that value back. So then you have to use a get and write a, your key host. So we are able to get the value for that. These are the common and basic keys which you will be frequently used to see the data from the Redis. So now we have successfully installed the Redis on our local. Next step is to create a microservice and write the APIs for the CRUD operation. So in my second part, I am going to click on the Spring Boot Initializer. Okay, Spring Boot Initializer and here I am configuring my project. So for that, I am selecting a Java and project in a, which, which is a Maven project. 
I am using Slitting a Spring 3.0.5. I am going to not. I am not going to use this. I have my version which is already there. 2.6.6. Okay. So let's write a proof coding word. Then Spring Redis. Spring Redis. Okay. I am using a jar and I am using a Java element. So let's. This is a main important part. We have to check. Let's add a Spring Boot web because I want to create a web application for the script. Then I am using a Lambo for my. So this is Lambo and this we have to add the Redis dependency. So from there, like if we are able to see two, we are mainly focusing on this. Okay, Spring Data Redis Access and Driver. Apart from that, I am going to add. If you want, you can add a Dev Developer, which will be using, which will make your things uh, easy whenever you do the changes. So once you add this dependency, we will be able to generate our project. Just download this project and import in your favorite editor. I have that imported my project into my Intel J. If you see here in this pom.xml, you are able to see the all the selected prop dependencies from the Spring Boot initializer. We have added a Spring Data Redis and a web dependency and Lambo dependency. I have not added the Dev Developer because I am not going to do frequent changes in this project. If you want, you can add that from the Spring Boot initializer. Okay. Apart from this, we have to add one more client dependency, which is a JDS client. Okay. And that JDS client I have copied and I have pasted it here. Okay. So this is a JDS client because Redis is working as a master and slave architecture, and also it has a client and server also. To access the data from the server, we have to use a Redis client APIs and which is provided by a JDS. Okay. Now I have like made some changes to make this video smaller. I have, I have created some classes and configuration already. So if you come here, we have our property dot file, and in this application dot property, I have added a host and a port where my Redis has been running. Apart from that, I have created. I am going to create a student microservice, microservice, and in that, I am going to add the student. I am going to retrieve the student. I am going to delete, and I am going to update that. So for that, I have created a, some classes and have some folder structure. So if you see, this is our main Spring Boot Redis application, Redis application, and here I am added. I have added a component scan from the my this package. I was getting some error, that's why I have added this. But most of you know need to add the your base package. Okay, so I have created one entity, which is a student entity, student entity, and if you see that all the data we are storing in the Redis as a uh, by doing the serialization. So for that we have to implement the serialization. I have created a student. And Redis hash. This is nothing but a even if you compare this with your RTMS, it is kind of a table. I am going to explain our internal architecture of the Redis in our in next video. But till now, consider this. This is a table. We have a two properties. One is ID and one is a name. Now, once you create an entity, you have to create a CRUD repository for that. And for that, I have created a student repo. A repo. In this, I am extending to the current repository, and I am passing a student as my object, which I am going to store. And uh, this is a string, which will be my, which will be my ID for this student. Okay, current. We can sorry, I can mark it as a integer. Okay, so this is it, guy. Now the main thing is like we have to create a configuration for the Redis. So I have created this config Redis config class, and in this config, I am adding the configuration annotation, which is because this is a configuration component, and I am using a Redis repositories. Okay, and in this, I am telling this this is my base package, and from this package, whatever the repository are there, just scan that. And property, which is a application dot property file, where I have mentioned the host and our port. 
Now, first of all, we have to create a JDS connection factory, and that JDS connection factory I have created a simply JDS connection factory. Now, we have to call all the APIs Redis API using a REST template, and the more uh, for that you have created all those are we have we are calling using a REST APIs, and for that we have to run a template JDS template, okay, and that JDS template whenever we are getting the data. In a, we are setting data in a body and getting data from body. We need to serialize it. So I have created a JDS template, and this JDS template for that I am passing a JDS connection factory, and I also setting the value initializer, value serializer. So here I am adding the generic string serializer. You can set a key serializer also using a generic string serializer. Okay. Now these are the Configuration I have created for this. Now second part is like I have created a controller. So right now I have just added the get student controller, and then in front of you I am going to create a or remaining three controller. Okay. So let's create a let's call this get and check. So before get I have to add some entries dummy entries into my database. That's why I have created this. Method save student and in this I am creating giving a uh, once this controller get started I am going to create a post construct and in this I am storing data into the my Redis. So this is a simple application with a get student and save student. Let's run this and check the output. Okay, my application has been successfully started. Now. As we seen already that we are persisting some data into our database. Now I want to get that data and see the result. So my service has been running on the service is running on the eight zero eight zero. Let's call this API and check localhost eight zero zero service get stored. If you hit this API, we are getting the stored data. Okay, this way we are able to complete our Get API. Now let's write a save API. So I am going to create a public uh, student save student and in this I am taking a student. Okay. Let's annotate this with. Post mapping, and in this I am giving the save student. All this data I am getting from the request body, so I am making it as a request body. I have I am not doing fancy things like handling the exception and all this, those things. That you can extend this project and do the things. So I have. Student repo, and in this I am going to save my student. Okay, and in the end I am returning the same entry student. Okay, so let's create a one more API which is for our get, which is for our delete, delete mapping, and public void delete student, and in this. Mapping slash slash delete student and I am pass. I am getting the ID from a path path. Uh, let's say path path. Okay, and in this I am giving name as a ID. And let's create a ID. Okay, and student repo dot delete by ID, and in this I am passing the ID. Okay, so let's run this program and check is it working fine or not. So we have started our application successfully, and it is running on eight zero. Now I want to test the post and delete API. That's why I am opening that. 
goes into our postman so this is my gate api and if i hit that i am getting the one and list this I, this entry i have already stored into my database using a post construct now i want to add one more entry for that i have created one entry like a save student and in this i am marking it as id2 and i am passing the name as a mesh let me click it and it is returning me 200 okay and this is returning the same same saved object let me click on the gate student and it is showing that entry which is we have recently added okay now this is for the save and gate now i want to delete the entry let's say i want to delete entry 2 for that i have created the one postman request which is where i have selected delete and this is my service slash delete student and i am passing the id if i hit it it is returning me 200 and i am i have deleted that successfully let's run get all student and check that it is showing or not so if you run this it is not showing into the our list that means we have successfully stored get and the deleted update is also for the same that i keep for you people and this way we have seen that how to use a redis as a database and using key value fair we have stored the object this is it for the redis database if you like this video please share it to your friend and please subscribe my channel thank you so much